Get him out? Oh, I look so scared. Oh? Yeah, it's How? So I hopped on a bus this morning and came up here to Kamloops and uh, now we've met back up with her parents and we're making our way across provinces to Saskatchewan. If you don't know where Saskatchewan is, look it up on Google Earth. Apparently there's a new Google Earth update. I didn't even know about this. Anyhow, today's road trip day. We got rid of the mouse. There's a mouse back there. When the storm is raging in your head Okay, so we are now here in Cairnport, Saskatchewan. How come you know? I'm graduating. You're graduating tomorrow. Tomorrow. With a psychology degree. Holy smokes. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. So we just road tripped out here. It's like 21 hours. We drove across the past two days. That was the montage you just watched. We're here now. It's gonna be a crazy time. Lots of really good friends. You were hanging out with friends this morning. Yep, breakfast, walks, chats, laughs. So there's a lot of like graduation-y type events happening across the next 48 hours. There's a banquet tonight, commencement tomorrow. We've got a group of beautiful people and we're going to a banquet. And you graduate tomorrow. Janelle's graduation this weekend is really significant in, in multiple ways. Let me tell you why. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> you look very ready. You look great. There you go. Yeah. I'm following you. So my wife Janelle is graduating from the psychology program from this tiny little college out in the prairies of Saskatchewan. And she's not just graduating or finishing, she's actually finishing with honors. And, and that means her GPA is finishing with above 3.9, which is crazy. It's actually 3.98 to be exact. That is insane. And, and this is the craziest part about her graduating right now. For the past year and a half, she's been doing continuing distance education. And that's not like some fancy online school program. That's where basically the school just supervises your studies, sends you textbooks, you write papers and they mark them, and those are your classes. How, like that, I just can't even comprehend finishing a degree that way. But Janelle did it. She did the last year of her studies completely distance ed, which, which is amazing. It was never each of them to stand, Janelle Vanderquack, Melanie Hill, and Robert McDonald. So, academic Achievement Awards are presented to the graduating student with the highest cumulative grade point average, Janelle Vanderquack from the Bachelor of Arts Psychology, with highest distinction, Janelle Melissa Vanderklaak. Yeah. You just follow the heart. Great, it's a video.
Okay, so Janelle actually graduated with two awards, and, and now she would <laughs> she would be so uncomfortable with me telling you this, uh, but I, I'm telling you this for a reason. And the, the two awards she got, she finished absolute top of her program in psychology, and then she also fit into this bracket in the top of the whole graduating class in this special honors society thing. And for each of these awards, she got these like dual cords to wear around her neck. And this is what I think is actually pretty crazy. She was the only graduate in that room who had two cords. That, that is, that is just crazy. I mean, the graduating class isn't that big, but still, my wife was the smartest woman graduating in that class. Okay, now, now here's the thing. The reason why I'm in a car out in the middle of a field in the prairies to talk to you about this is because Janelle would be just uncomfortable with me sharing it. And, and the reason is, is because she knows to her that, that the grades she gets is not the most important thing. And, and what I find just kind of significant and incredible about all of this is that like grades and performance are not like her highest priorities in life. And yet the awards that she's got and the, the GPA that she's finished with just go to point towards characteristics about her that I just find amazing. She is one of the most hardworking individuals and determined individuals I've actually ever met. And, and that combined with an incredible intellect has <laughs> created just a, a woman that is so capable of setting her mind to something and achieving it. So that's why I want to talk about this in a vlog and that's why I'm so incredibly proud because I don't think grades are everything and neither does she. But what I think is crazy is that even in the past year and a half of her doing studies at a distance and being an incredible wife and an amazing support to me, she's been accomplishing some amazingly crazy hard work with her degree and she's now graduated and I'm just, it's awesome. So Janelle, I am so crazy, super proud of you. I'm like so incredibly grateful to have you as my wife. I'm just really excited to see where life is going to continue to take you. And, and especially because you care foremost about people. And I think that is the best combination on earth when someone is incredibly driven and hardworking and cares deeply about people. And Janelle is one of these one in a million people that has those characteristics in the most amazing way. And she's my wife. <laughs> Bye. Life's better when you make stuff. <laughs> Good to see you, man. Good to see you too, dude. <laughs> see ya. See, see ya. ya, dude. Okay, so next up, I'm flying to Las Vegas. I, I, <laughs> this is just gonna be a ton of fun. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. On Tuesday, we find out if we're a grand prize finalist in the shot over giveaway. And, and I just have this incredible amount of peace about the whole thing. I just feel like, if we win, it, it was meant to happen, and I, I put forward my best work, and it, and it was recognized, and it deserved it. And if I don't win, I still put forward my best work, which I'm really proud of, and, and then it just wasn't meant to happen. And I'm like really okay with that outcome, surprisingly. I, I just feel totally at peace with kind of whatever happens next. Uh, I'll definitely be vlogging the whole thing, and I'll let you guys know as soon as I can what the outcome of the contest is. And I just want to thank everyone that's been messaging and they're just amazing support through this whole process. It's been really cool. So that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for joining our journey to the prairies and uh, let me share so much about Janelle, my incredible wife. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. And remember, life's better when you make stuff. Just wanted to test out the specs on this GH5. Yeah, it's probably something I'd use in the future. Let's see how it does on stuff like this. Why do you guys still have a Christmas tree? Waiting for this moment. Oh, we can't put that whole thing on. Oh, no. But I thought Cassie was just going to put the whole thing on top. Guys, this is family video. Did you, did you find the record button? Uh, yes. Oh, it's going to come at me. How much memory do I have on this thing? <laughs> oh, Mr. Sock. Uh, Let's find out. Oh, oh, that box dear. has to be on you. Oh, this is not going to be on focus. Oh, dear. Oh, well, I mean, it's not always on me. Now, right. No, yeah, yeah, just right in the center. That's me. Yeah. Stuff everywhere. All right.
Well, everyone say bye to the family video. <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye, family video. <laughs>